Okay, today I'm going to show you how to tie my pop pops. It's just a foam head popper and it takes a few steps. There's a few different things in the process. First thing we have to do is make the back half of the fly. So I've got all my marabou prepped. I've cut it all off the quill, all off of the string that it came on. And I'm going to take, this one is a fire tiger one that I do. So I've got chartreuse, flame orange, and then I put my other marabou on the other side of it. So you've got it layered in between. You've got that fire orange in the middle. I'm going to stroke that back, get your tail measured out. And we're just going to get some tight wraps down here so it doesn't go all over the place. About 10, 12 of them. Okay. Go ahead and trim off what we've got here. Get rid of this excess. And then we're just going to bind that down really good. Remember, this is just the back half of the fly. So this isn't the part of the fly where we're um, finishing it. This is just going to be the tail. So all we're doing right now is making the tail for this popper. And then I'm going to take, this is just a saltwater hackle. This is fire orange. Just going to tie that tip right in down there at the back. I'm going to bring that right up behind that bump. This is a popper style hook. So we've got that ridge in there that the popper head sits on. And we're just going to palmer this on. It's okay if some of that shows through on there. Chartreuse and everything doesn't hurt it at all. And then we're just going to go ahead and tie off that stem right there. I'm going to stroke this back a little bit. Grab over this. And then we're just going to make sure we get a little bit of thread up over this because our glue is going to sit on top of this when we're done. And I like to make a little thread bump right behind the eye there so that when the... Uh, popper head goes on it stays in place we finish that six eight times and then we're done with that step we'll move on to the next step the next step that we have for doing these poppers I've got a zutty leg puller I've got my foam popper head here there's different sizes and colors that you can do on them I'm gonna put my zutty through the back here you can see where that is and I coming out the other side so you're going to push that through. And I like to position them so I still have room left over to put my eyes on. But this is just putting the legs in for now. And what we're going to do, we're going to take a couple strands. I like the centipede. Rubber on this. This is a hot orange. You put those in through the eye. And then you just pull that through. It's like basically it's just acting as a threader. And then those pop out the other side. We go ahead, we trim these. Get them so that they're about the same length on there. And then we can go on to the next step, which is uh, adding the eyes onto the fly. Now we're going to go ahead and add the eyes. I sell these sheets in the online store. There's, there's 180 eyes on here. It's about 10 bucks. It's a great way to do it. You get some different sizes and different colors on there. I'm just going to take a couple of red ones on this. Peel those off. And then we're going to stick these eyes on there adhesive so you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to glue these eyes on they actually stay on pretty well onto this foam especially if you just pinch them down on there so now you've got that on there so we're done with that step and then really the last step that we have we're going to take and i like the super glue um, from loctite it's gel control i am going to put some right on here and this gel control is pretty spectacular because it does not slip, slide, or run. So you can see it just stays right where you squeeze it on. You don't have to worry about it going all over the place. And we've got a slot right there in the bottom. At the bottom of those foam heads, there is a little slot that you can see. Um, I kind of squeeze that one on, but if you can see that opening there. And that just fits right over there. And then once you get that positioned where you want it, squeeze this down. You can put another little drop of gel right in between and then just go ahead and close up the popper. Squeeze that down for a few seconds and that's it. You're done. You've got your uh, pop pop. This one is a size 4 actually. It's a little bit bigger one. You make them all the way down to a size 10. Very simple to make. Great little poppers. Thanks. Go to Wileysflies.com for all your materials and questions.